I just saw Avatar, The Weight of Water, and I am in love. And I don't get why so many people hated it. The movie is simple, the story is not in groundbreaking. It's nothing new, it's actually very similar to the first one, but I don't find it that to be a flaw. I got entertained all the way to, from the beginning to the end. It was extremely fun. It had a good pacing and quite frankly you don't need a, a complex story of something new just to entertain the audience if you are having fun um you're not feeling the time like i did i wasn't feeling the time of the movie i actually went out wanting more i was like why didn't you give me more it is a visual show that keeps you immersed on the experience and the technology well everybody knows that part that, like, that, that was a 10 out of 10. A spoiler alert you have been warned <laughs> now going to the meat of the story i think this movie could have had a lot more scenes to build up the family connections because yes it is about family and you know they care about each other but i felt that i needed more from their interaction i i wanted more actually another thing that i was kind of issue about at the end is the relationship between the Jake Sully and the water tribe chief. He went to the tribe at the end and he said, okay, we're gonna leave the tribe, um, we have done enough, which they did, they did a lot. And the water tribe chief, he was like, oh, now you're, now you're family. And they're like this moment of, oh, brotherhood and stuff like that. I'm like, bitch, you, you didn't explain that in the movie. They didn't have that much screen time. They did show some parts between, between them, but the chief and, and him, they didn't have that many moments. And um, by the end, Jake Sully only ca caused problems. He brought the war to the tribe. Uh, he didn't redeem himself from that. And he's like, oh yeah, your brother. They didn't build that up for them to be that close. So that found, I found that strange and it didn't resonate with me by the end. Yeah, another thing that Jake's solid daughter, she has these powers, I think she connects with Aowa and I want to know more about her. I was genuinely intrigued of what is going to be her role in the future because she must be someone important in the future in this franchise. This kind of connection was not in the first movie. So that that, that is something new from the movie. <laughs> Something that I really love about this movie was the emotional part. In the part where they're killing the the well mama and his son, that was extremely emotional. How many times they showed the kid and how they are killing this well and how they, they are saying that these well are more intelligent than even humans. And they're just like, ah, let's just kill a mother and his son. And then after the hunt and they were showing how she died and how she was dying and then she's dead and the little whale is just around uh, beside her crying like mama mama expecting for her to move again and then all the scenes uh, ends and you don't know what happens to this whale and then suddenly he's dead beside her it was it was emotional another emotional part uh is near the end and it's when jake sully's son died when they are putting him to the bottom of the ocean and then they connect to aowa and Jake Sully just arrived and see his son when he was like an image when he was little and then an image in his uh, adulthood and they're just saying oh I miss you and just smiling to his son and it just gave me emotional even now because it was extremely emotional love the movie don't get the hate it just enjoy just go in enjoy the experience enjoy the world which is extremely beautiful 